After the United States orchestrated the assassination of top Iranian general Qasem Soleimani in January of 2020, Iran launched missiles at U.S. bases in Iraq, wounding 110 Americans. That wasn't the end of the revenge. Essentially, you've had military officials, political officials, and even religious officials re-up a threat to the life of not just former President Trump, but most of his national security team. FBI records released Thursday by Senator Chuck Grassley's office detail Iranian-backed assassination plots against Donald Trump, Joe Biden, and Nikki Haley. Grassley's office reportedly obtaining the documents from law enforcement whistleblowers. According to the records, these plots were revenge for Soleimani's death. Donald Trump was president at the time and gave the green light for the strike. Soleimani was personally responsible for some of the absolutely worst atrocities. The release of the new report reigniting questions. Take a look at what happened surrounding the assassination attempt of Donald Trump. Did the gunman, Thomas Crooks, actually act alone? And why was the security around Trump not higher in light of the Iran threats? The day before Trump took the stage in Butler, Pennsylvania, a 46-year-old Pakistani man with ties to Iran, Asif Merchant, was arrested and charged with murder for hire, allegedly attempting to kill a U.S. politician or official on U.S. soil. The DOJ says the plan was foiled before it could play out. Responding to that arrest, Attorney General Merrick Garland said for years the Justice Department has been working aggressively to counter Iran's brazen and unrelenting efforts to retaliate against American public officials for the killing of Iranian General Soleimani. Iran is also ramping up their cyber meddling efforts attempting to influence the upcoming U.S. presidential election. Last month we learned of hacking efforts for both Donald Trump and Kamala Harris's campaigns. In Washington, I'm Kayla Gaskins.